Hey everybody, this is Mr. Hendren along with Nathan, Elizabeth and Michaela for History on Location, bringing our past to your present. We're in Riding Mountain National Park here in Manitoba and we're at the trailhead for the Grey Owl Trail. We're going to hike in 8.9 kilometers to Grey Owl's cabin. He was here for six months in 1931 trying to establish his beaver conservation program. They'll probably tell you more about that when we get to the cabin. And uh, we're going to go and check out the cabin and enjoy the trail. So we will see you maybe on the way for sure there. Bye for now. All right, hour and 40 minutes later, we made it here to Grey Owl's cabin. This was known as Beaver Lake Lodge back in 1931 when it was built for him. And this is where we're going to do our history on location shoot. These guys have a great script planned for you. But uh, I just wanted to show you inside. We worked hard to bring this history on location video to you. Come check out the inside of the cabin. So inside the cabin, he lived here for six months and the national parks have included this huge booklet of various primary sources. Uh, this one talking about inviting Grail out here. This one talking about uh, or showing visitors when he was hired back in April 1931. Various telegraphs. There's all kinds of interesting primary sources here for visitors to flip through. And they can look around the cabin and you can even see the little area where Jelly Roll, we have our token Jelly Roll, and Rawhide, we don't have, wait, we don't, we have Rawhide here, and Rawhide, <laughs> Rawhide, got to uh, be in the cabin with Grail. It's probably pretty dark for you, but this is where it is. We'll be back with more, just after this. Hi Elizabeth. Hi, I'm Michaela. This is Jelly Roll, and this is Rawhide. We are located in Grey Owl's old cabin in Riding Mountain National Park. He was known as Grey Owl to many, but his real name was Archibald Blaney. He was born on September 18, 1888 in Hastings, England. He lived in Hastings, England with his, with his two aunts, and then later moved to Canada at the age of 17. On April 17, 1931, he became known as a famous trapper and conservationist. Anna Hario, which is the lady that he lived with in the cabin, influenced him to, to become a conservationist. He did many things in Riding Mountain, including starting a beaver program and took care of the animals. And in this very cabin, he did a lot of writing and films. All right, so that's it for uh, this shoot of History on Location. This was... Michaela, Elizabeth, Mr. Hendren, and Nathan on the camera. Bye for now. This is History on Location, bringing our past... To your, your present. present.